all right hello everyone and peace of christ to all of you i hope my voice is coming good and clear please invite your friends if you care for this topic our topic today is about the impeachment of president trump and this is just a news we heard you know 15 minutes ago uh, that the the congress they voted for impeachment and impeachment mean to get rid of him and i find that this impeachment is really very funny and very stupid i mean this guy is really lucky see the best thing can happen to you if your enemy are a bunch of stupid you know what i mean if your enemies are a bunch of stupid i mean you are super lucky because if your enemy are smart you know it's going to be very hard to deal with them so look what those people they did they voted for impeachment and then now the case will be given to the republican because they are the one who is in charge of the Senate. And now the senators, they are going to expose the Democrat. This is exactly what will happen. You see those uh, TV show like uh, Trump, he did, Trump, he made a phone call, Trump, the Russian, Trump, etc. Now what will happen, that the one is in control, who will ask for witnesses, who will force the witnesses to come, is the Republican. And that means, the American, they will see what happened. That's mean the Democrat will look like a bunch of fool. That's mean that everybody will be disgusted about what they did. So they handed to Trump a case against them. This was exactly like it's like somebody he called the police and he is selling drugs at the same time. And he's can you come home? Because I I have a box of drugs. Uh, it's full and I cannot carry it. I need somebody to help me. This is exactly what those pe people did. I mean, their foolishness is beyond imagination. This man now, which I believe he is really lucky, as I said, uh, not only he will win, now from now on until the coming year, Trump, he will say nothing in TV except the impeachment, the impeachment. Did you know what they did to me? Do you remember what they did to me? So this is, will be for his benefit, not the opposite. It's 100 times, 100% 100 for the benefit of Trump. Each time he go on TV now, he will say, did you do? The same as he is talking about, about the Russian. You see, before, look what happened from the beginning. In the beginning, before this guy, he was elected, they went tens of thousands in the street and start burning cars, destroying furniture, attacking stores in california in new york everywhere and then they could not do anything about it so then they accuse him that he support the kkk he is a racist it didn't work because the black people stand behind him then they accuse him that he is an agent for the russian it didn't work it turned out that all this investigation was a hocus it was a, it was a lie and everything there is accused with it to be it, it, it is them planning those things so now he have a case against them about the russian and now the second case is going to be about uh, his phone call to ukraine and look what will happen now the republican they are going to ask john biden or i call him joe bite me because each time he talk he bite people you know he bite himself they will ask him to come as a witness and they will ask and they will question his son how you get this money and why they are giving you that job so this is a scandal will come big big deal is going to happen i mean this is a great news for this man this man is very lucky so the coming month is going to be a very nice show sit in your couch and coach couch and and, and uh, get some popcorn and enjoy the show you know and the stupidity of those who call themselves democrat not only they will lose the election I mean, they are they are making a stupid move. Look at this guy, the stock market in the top. At the end of the month, he will sign the agreement with the with the Chinese. He forced the Chinese to 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 bow down to him. I mean, this is China. While Obama, he was uh, <laughs> kissing their shoes, signing anything they want. This man, he forced the Chinese to 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 come to an agreement, and they will sign it very soon. This guy, he made deals with everybody. And he is very successful. So what what this is about? How you can how you can defeat somebody? He is successful in everything. 
they could not take it because of their hate to this man. I mean, it doesn't matter what this guy he do. Still, he is he's, he's, he's disgusting. Their hate is blinding them. And I believe that the coming election, not only they will lose, but they will give him the chance to own the house again. So, which means he can do what he was prevented from doing in the last two years. Because the Congress, the majority, they were Democrat until now. So, the coming election is going to be a big disaster, the same as the first election. And this is all by their help, because people, they are looking like, look at this guy, what he's doing, and look what they are doing. This guy, he made the economy good. He, he, he made a trade deal very well. Everybody attack him for, uh, for you know, uh, uh, fighting China. And look, it's working. Everything, he, everything he said, it's working perfectly according to his plan. Everything, every promise he made in the election. Usually, people, people who go in election, uh, they make promises. All the promises are false. I mean, not even one percent of their promise come to be true. This guy, every single promise he did, he did. Whatever he said in the election, he did. He said, I will build the wall. He want to build the wall. And he started building the wall. He said, I will stop China. He stopped China. I mean, you name it. So, uh, uh, what, what, uh, what those people, they did. And by the way, there is many things I don't agree with this Trump. I mean, he, he, he make, according to what I, you know, I see, he is a, he's a great person for business, etc. But there's things I don't agree with him. But let us say 90 maybe percent of things you do, I agree with it. The coming election is not only going to destroy the reputation of the Democrat, it's going to make them lose the ground. A lot of Democrats, they will move from Democrat to be Republican. At the end of the day, you know, if you are an American citizen and you are watching what's happening, I mean, this guy, what he did, he made a phone call and he's asking for what? To investigate corruption? Well, shouldn't we ask actually for it? If the Democrats really are serious against corruption, they should, they should be the one who asks for it. If I am a vice president and my son, he got a job for, uh, for millions of dollars and he have no skills, this guy, he was kicked from the army for drugs. The son of Biden, bite me, he was kicked from the army. He have no skills. He is, like we are not talking about somebody he is a scientist. So isn't it obvious that they give him a job because of who he is? He is a son of the vice president. Isn't it obvious? Isn't it obvious that uh, like, you know, like uh, what his name? The, the previous prime minister of England, the Tony Player. His, uh, one of his family, she got a consultant, I think his wife, she got a consultant job for the minister, for the, the prince of Qatar. I mean, what consultant job would she will do? She will choose shoes for him? The president, Jack Chirac of France, his family, all of them, they work in the Middle East. And his house, the houses they own is a gift. Gift from Al Hariri, the prime minister of Lebanon, I mean, the corruption is all over. Hillary Clinton, she got tens of millions of dollars from the Middle East. Why? I mean, why? Why somebody? I mean, the king of Morocco, what he have to do with Hillary Clinton? He's her cousin. Moroccan people are dying from hunger. There's no jobs. 40% of population, they have no jobs. Why somebody like Morocco will donate? Why somebody like Qatar will donate? I mean, what they have to do with Hillary Clinton? It's a bribe. So the corruption is all the way to their teeth. And the guy, he made a phone call to investigate corruption. And they, because of that phone call, they say he is using his authority so he can win the election. I mean, this guy, he won the election already. And this guy, Biden, there's nobody will vote for him. This person is mentally ill. He do not know what to say. This guy, he, you know, he say things, I mean, the most funny, stupid things ever. So when I, when I look at this, uh, this process and uh, what, what the Democrat, I mean, uh, this woman, the Congresswoman, who what her name, I forgot her name, Gonzalez, whatever her name, uh, she said we should eat our kids. Why? Because of a global warming. Kids is the problem. We should stop having kids. We should eat them. Yeah, I'm going to eat my kid. 
No, I did not get married yet, but I'm going to make a kid and I will eat him just to get the rid of the I mean they have the most stupid mental illness people in, in, in this in this party. All the corruption they have. It you know Obama he gave our our uh, he, he sold our uranium to the Russian. He's imagine guys. He, this is the head of USA. Not only he signed whatever the Russian he want, he gave them all the uranium we have. I mean, have you ever heard of a stupid president like this? And nobody want to impeach him. He agree with whatever the king of Saudi Arabia want. But if Trump he agree with the king of Saudi, he is uh, he betraying America. When the when Obama he went to Saudi Arabia he bowed down to the king. There's two people who were waiting for him in the airport. You know what? I am not a king. If I go to the airport, I will find fifty, maybe thousand waiting for me. Especially if I say I'm coming <laughs> to Indonesia as an example. I think I will get like five hundred thousand, if not fifty million. <clears throat> for sure they love me, you know. So all the corruption they have, I mean uh, Hillary, Hillary Clinton she deleted her email this is a crime by itself you see if you work for the government and you deleted or you get rid of any kind of a property belong to the government it's a crime an email is a property it's a virtual property owned by the government you have no right to delete it she deleted thousands of emails she wiped the server and nobody went her to, took her to jail If you do that, there's a guy, he, he took a picture of himself in the submarine. And they sentenced him to two years or three years in jail for taking a selfie. So their corruption is beyond imagination. And they think with their corruption, they can silence anyone. Who is going to, you know, uh, uh, go against them? They could not take it how how they lost the election. I remember the day of election, you know, I, actually me, myself, I thought that's it. Trump is lost. All the news, everybody is saying he would, there is no way, you know. But I went and I did vote because I don't trust what they say. And, but for me, somehow I believe them, you know. The poll, etc. 90% is going to be like a... <laughs> Uh, it's going to be a disaster for Trump and then and actually not only that I decided to go to sleep I don't want to see this you know I get I'm really upset so I said I'm going to go to sleep and then around like nine something I couldn't sleep I said you know what I'm going to see something's going to happen I don't know there's a hope inside me that this man will win even though everything I heard saying no he will not and the miracle happened he won the election and you know their fear is not about Trump. What their fear is that in four years, additional to this, which means three, uh, we have one year left plus four years. That's five years. Five years. This man he will be able to change at least two of the Supreme Court judges, and he will be able to add hundreds and hundreds of federal judge who they are conservative Christians. This is the fear. The fear that Democrat they were taking us into athe being atheist nation they fight the word god they fought the word even christmas they took it off they don't want merry christmas obama he forbid anyone to say merry christmas happy holiday that's it during the time of the christmas i remember once i went to walmart the lady she said to me happy holiday i said happy christmas it's not a holiday it's a christmas not just holiday So they thought they reach a point they are, have a full control of the country and then suddenly there's a guy he came from the middle of nowhere and he made them lose and look what happened by the way maybe many of you do not know that the democrat is the one who wanted trump to be the the one who challenged hillary clinton the reason for that they thought he's a fool this guy he says stupid things there's no way he will win so they supported him in the beginning, 
you know they wanted everyone who is from the Republican to lose so only Trump will be the one the nominee for the Republican Party because they thought he is a he's a fool and then they will they will post a video of uh, 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 recorded of him speaking about women supposedly people will get upset you know and that's it I mean we get him busted and then we accuse him whatever accusation etc and he, he will lose I mean this guy he say things nobody say this is true this is true because they thought he is the last one to win so the the Democrat <laughs> they are the one who pushed him to be there but then what happened is the opposite of what they thought he thought they will he will never win actually you know what if they did not help him to be the nominee of the Republican I don't think the uh, we will have a Republican president right now we will have Hillary Clinton so their stupidity is always the reason for this man to win they made him president in the first time and they will make him a president for sure for the second time and not only that he will make a slide people will leave people will leave this party by tens of thousands actually already there's some congressmen they are switching from democrat to republican well you know the working and i mean the the poor people the middle class whatever you call it i mean everybody is sick we are sick of uh, Ob you know we got obama he promised us all uh, 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 amazing stuff like when you hear when you hear you will have health insurance you think you will get a health insurance really where is the health insurance obamacare <laughs> it was obama humiliation and not only that obama look what he did when he made the the health law he made an exception that muslims and amish they cannot join and he did add the amish to make it it's not about only muslims how you can this is not even it's, it's against the constitution to treat a religious group differently why he is he's an american i'm not an american just because he's a muslim he don't have to go and sign for the health insurance but because he is a muslim and this party he is using muslims only to win they don't care really for muslims they thought like in michigan there is a there is a, 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 a like a the city of Detroit full of Muslims so if we make the Muslims happy they will vote for us this is the plan very easy very simple and they could not believe it that in Michigan which is always was a blue state which means Democrat they will vote for Trump which means people are sick of the stupidity of this party I mean, each time I look, I, you know, I listen to this party, I die laughing. Go and see their videos talking about the global warming. You see, regardless if a global warming is true or not. But the solution they bring is stupid. At least come with something real. Like all of them, they speak about we have to stop driving four-wheel drive. But all of them, they have not only four-wheel drive. They have 20 cars behind them and 20 cars be after them. Al Gore, who used to make speeches about global warming, a fly is in his own jet. So he is teaching you, you should turn off the light when you leave the bathroom. But he himself, in every flight, he burn gas, which you will not burn in your lifetime for electricity. And this is why this man is 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 winning. This man is not a hypocrite. He's saying what he he's saying what he say what he believe. He's like a kid. That's why people like him. He say things like a kid. This guy, this is me. This is how I talk. You like me, like me. You don't like me. This is me. Them. They are very very politically correct. And uh, the funny, like last time when I went for the election, 
there's a lady you know you ask I said I'm a Republican so she said where are you from I said I'm American I said yeah I know but I mean originally you have an accent I said ah, I'm uh, from the Middle East uh, she said it's strange usually Middle Eastern they vote for Trump I said well I'm not a donkey no sorry I said I'm not stupid she looked at me and her eyes like open like what you know she like she was shocked by the answer usually Middle Eastern they vote for uh, uh, Democrat I mean why in the world I want to vote for Democrat you want to have open borders so every criminal in the world will jump to the border including Isis and Al-Qaeda I mean what kind of people are you even in Mexico if I go there if I don't have a visa they will kick me out they will arrest me and they will send me out I mean all countries in the world they have rules and everybody protect his borders there's there's drugs there's a crime there's a criminals I mean how in the world what kind of a party says we want open borders since when open borders or closed border is about discrimination I am I am an Arab and I believe that this is a stupid to have open border they said did you know that Trump he signed uh, uh, there are six Islamic countries you know they cannot enter the country he said they did not sign that he just renew the one who did that it was Obama you bunch of liars so how come when Obama he signed the same law he was not a racist the guy he just renewed what Obama signed before him right you, you know you, you see the stupidity the six countries which they they, they have a, they have a, like a ban list from entering the country USA is a is a is an order made by Obama but it was expired when Trump he came so Trump he just renew so when Trump he signed the same law which Obama he signed before him he is a racist can you believe it and now even those who they are not supporting uh, Trump from those Democrat or let us say they are between they are independent even those people they will see that those people are being unfair for this man they will take his side there's a lot of people they, they see that this is unfair process and now by this impeachment the Republican they will have their party so look what will happen now they will call for the son of Joe Biden and they will get him busted in TV they will call for all the witnesses which the, the, the Democrat they mention their names or even they hide their names and they will make them get busted publicly and all the American will be laughing at this party it's called the Democrats what's wrong with those people I mean can't you use your brain do you have one you are handing the man everything he need to fight you back everything he need and this is Merry Christmas in the White House while Obama he was fighting it we have a you know we have a white Christmas beautiful snow outside we have a president who maybe wouldn't agree with him in many things but he did a great job until now actually I didn't expect him to do such a I mean this, this person he changed a lot of things the one who gave America an opportunity to be known again as a country a great country you know America reach a can reach a time where where people are homeless in the time of Obama there's no jobs go to Michigan Go to Michigan and see how many houses are empty. Empty houses. There's no jobs. Nobody can pay their mortgage. Nobody have a job. Nobody have anything. Manufacturers are closing. And Obama signed tons of agreement with the Chinas and everybody. So everybody import to America, but America import nothing. To the point even the American flag is made in China. I mean, have you ever heard 
of such a such a disaster this is USA in USA even the American flag is made in China because the plan of Democrat was always to be stupid who care about if it's made in America or not they cut even spending for the army they cut spending for the do you know that America cannot go to the moon without the Russian all the aerospace engines are made in Russia nothing is made in USA no more because of the Democrat so enough is enough too much stupidity and what this guy he did and look, first they, they, they accuse him of a treason that he is a, he is an agent for the Russian. I mean, who, what's wrong with you? Why? Because they don't want him to be close to the Russian. They don't want us to be friend with the Russian. I mean, isn't it better to be friend for them from being enemies? And look what happened. By being an enemy to the Russian, now the Russian are supporting our enemy, Iran. Because this is how it works. The enemy of my enemy is my friend. So if they let him do what he should do, Iran will be the regime in Iran will be collapsing a long time ago. But they will not let him be friend to the Russian. We cannot fight Russia, we cannot win against Russia, we cannot destroy Russia. So what this is about? When you hear Hillary Clinton saying, if I am there, oh, we would never dare to do what, 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 what they never dare, what you would do? What you will do exactly? Are you going to use nukes? The Russian they can wipe the earth. Not only a USA, they can wipe the whole earth from existence. I mean, stupidity is amazing. What do, what do those people want? If the guy, he shake hands with the president of Korea, they say, look what he's doing. If he make a threat to Korea, they say, look what he's doing. He will establish a nuclear, this idiot will establish a nuclear war. So what do you want him to do? Shake hands or not to shake hands? So if he go to peace with North Korea, they will say, look, he's shaking hands with the dictator. If he say no, Korea, if you do that, we will teach you how to behave. They say, look at the idiot, he will start a new war. So it doesn't matter what he do. They hate him. You know what I mean? Those Democrats, they, re they resemble two of my cousins. And they are Arab like me. They were going for hunting. So they saw something moving between the bushes. One of them, he said, this is a goat. The other one, he said, no, this is a bird. The first one, my cousin, he said to the second cousin, okay, do you want to bet that this is a goat? The other guy, he said, I bet. He said, okay, well, let us shoot. If it doesn't fly, then it's a bird. If it does not, it means it's a goat. So they shot at that direction. And nothing fly so the first one who said see I told you it's a bird the second he said well you know what it's a goat even if it doesn't fly and this is exactly the story of Donald Trump even if he's a he flying still he's a goat for them it doesn't matter it's a goat he fly he's a goat he made the economy amazing, he's a goat. He made the Russian agree with him, he's a goat. He made the, 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 you know, I mean, everything he did is right. That's it, he's a goat for them, and we have to get rid of this goat. Stupidity is amazing. And I believe strongly that Trump is very lucky that all his enemies are stupid. That's wonderful, my friend. That's beautiful. That is best for anyone. I hope always if there's an enemy for me, they will be always stupid. I don't want to have a smart one. Right? So, to make it clear, uh, the Democrats 
They are not really a party of America. I don't see them as an American party. I see them as they are international party. Those people, they have an agenda, which is about nationalism, sorry, about socialism, uh, like Venezuela. They, they, they are, every one of them is this dictator, what is named the one who destroyed Venezuela, the one who gave Venezuela to Iran and Hezbollah, Chavez. They are Chavez. People of Venezuela, they don't, even, they don't have even money for toilet paper. Millions of them, they are crossing the borders. This is show, 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 show socialism. <laughs> I mean, don't you see? You see, businessmen, it doesn't matter how rich they are or how poor they are. Let us say, I mean, poor compared to each other. When you increase too much tax, money run, money escape. You see, you cannot force people really to pay tax. Those are businessmen. They take their money and go. They open their business in India. They will open their business in Dubai. So if you think really you can force them to pay, you will not be able to force them. Because all what they need to do, they closed and shut down their business and they open it in different place where there's no tax. And then you go bankrupt. And then your government have no tax at all. So this man is doing the smart thing. You see, why Dubai is a growing small tiny country in the middle of nowhere there's nothing there no tax there's no tax the government they make their income not from really tax from other things license etc you know when you have no tax money fly to this land as simple as that the more tax you put the more people fly out Actually, there is people they start dropping their citizenship in USA because of tax. Because if you are an American citizen, you have to pay tax. So what they do? They decide to go and join different countries because if you are a businessman, you can buy a citizenship. Very simple. Many countries they will give it to you in one day. Even in like in Australia, in Canada, like if you have five hundred thousand dollars, you put them in the bank, you apply for citizenship, you open a business, they give it to you. Immediately. Money, my friend, money talk. In Turkey, Erdogan, because he's bankrupt, is offering any businessman for $100,000, you can get the citizenship. Actually, later I heard for 50. If you buy a house or two houses in Turkey, they will give you a citizenship. Because they need money. The country is bankrupt. So, those people, they do not know how to do business. They do not know how to run a restaurant. But they, they are the cook. And they are the waiter. And they are the doctor. And they are the engineer, but they know nothing about all those topics. So, I say, this is a good day for Trump. A bad day for the democrat this is a very good day we will enjoy the coming new year watching the uh, uh, this uh, what his name uh, uh, you know uh, i forgot his name in the senate he is inviting the witnesses one after one and the scandals is coming one after one because now that's it the case is not in the hand of those uh, idiots we used to see for the last two months right anyway i'm not going to let you stay here for long maybe uh, uh, somebody have a broadcast in different place you want to join so i just wanted to share my thought about this and i think this is a very good time for trump this guy is very lucky and uh, you know garbage in garbage out they are helping him they are supporting him and this is the perfect thing can be done to any person. So I encourage you, Democrat, to do more. So next year, not only he will win, he will get the majority in the Congress and in the senators, and he is the president. And not only that, then, you know, that's it. Democrats are history. Already we have a judge from the Supreme Court. I think she is a lady. She, she is in bad shape. You know, she has a health problem. We pray for her, but she is a Democrat. She is going to leave the office soon. 
That's mean Trump, he will have one more judge in the Supreme Court. So in the coming four or five years, how many judge he will have? You may never know. Maybe one more, two more, three more. Disaster for the Democrat. Disaster. This is a true disaster. This country flipped upside down, the same as how, what happened in, in England. In England, the socialists, they strike against Johnson and they don't want him to, uh, to, to, to make the, break, the, the, the Brexit uh, agreement happen. And they keep stopping and stopping it and they start making a problem for him. They will not agree. They will never let it happen. So I said, okay, let us have election. And election happened and he won the majority. And now they are gone. Look what they did. They armed him actually. They armed him and they made him stronger. And this is exactly what they did with the Trump. And now, as I know, Trump and Johnson in the UK, they are going to sign an agreement, a trade deal very soon. And that deal is going to be a disaster for many, but not for the UK and not for USA. So this guy, he is a genius. He knew what he's doing. Look, when he went to England, he refused to even shake hands with the other person who is presenting the socialist. He only visited Johnson. And guess what? He was right. This is the one who won. And this is the one who will take the side with America. And this is the one who is conservative. Let us say somehow conservative. Not like the other one who hate Israel. And he support Palestine or Hamas. So they are helping us. Thank you, Democrat. I really appreciate your help. And by the way, I don't want uh, to see anyone replacing Pelosi. Even her name is, is uh, even her name is fun. I mean, Pelosi will bring a lot of Pelosi to us. And Adam Schiff is the best. This guy, he looked like he just came from the grave, from the museum. And you got us a bunch of idiot to impeach this guy or to support this guy. What happened? You are supporting him. If I am Democrat, actually, I will leave this party because obviously those people are crazy. I mean, don't they know that the majority in the Senate are Republican? Don't they know that this vote will use, be useless? So what the point of this? Nothing except stupidity. In the top of that, now they, they are handing the case to the Republicans so they will question every single witness in the case. The witnesses which the, the, the Democrats were hiding. And they will put them in TV. And American, they will die laughing. Crazy people. Truly, truly crazy people. They have mental illness. Too much hashish. Too much hashish. Uh, somebody saying let us see what he's saying there is too much there's also a lot of corruption in the problem among the my friend we are not saying that the republican are angels and the democrat are uh, the devil this is not what we are saying we are talking about stupidity we are talking about stupidity corruption is existing in every country in the world every country in the world you will not go to a country in the world you will not find corruption and I can say that USA comparing to others is nothing. You cannot really compare. However, when it's come to politics, in USA, we got a bunch of idiots. It's not about corruption only. I mean, we have, we have literally a bunch of idiots who do not know what they are doing. They don't even have a plan. I mean, okay, what do you want to do? What, why, what is this impeachment about? You know, the impeachment is to get rid of him. Okay, let us say for the sake of argument, they get rid of him. Do you know what will happen next? Who is the vice president? A very conservative Christian. Not only conservative, he is very extremely conservative. So look what will happen. They get rid of somebody. He is not too much conservative, or we cannot even call him conservative, but he is siding with the conservative. And they will replace him with someone extremely conservative. Do you see how stupid they are? 
in the same time look what will happen still Trump he will not leave the White House in which way vice president he will become the president and then he will hire Trump as a vice president he have the right to do that and then the coming election Republican and everybody vote for Trump and he will win again I mean this is stupid you know what I mean they are not getting rid of him even if they were able to impeach him in both uh, uh, Congress and Senate he will be back he's not leaving he have a man his man is is a is, is Pence and this guy is extremely conservative Christian This man, you know, the, the vice president, he don't say a speech without saying the name of Christ. Every two words, he have to mention his name. So not only they are facing a failure, they are facing a disaster. And just watch, I cannot wait for the coming, coming month when the Republican, they start, uh, uh, you know, <laughs> doing their, their party. You know, I mean, real party now, not the Republican Party, real fun party. We're investigating every case of those things, or every accusation against Trump. Now they have the right to to, to examine it, to ask for witnesses. Joe Joe Biden will be brought. His son will be brought. They might even bring Hillary Clinton. You never know uh, uh, about the Russian, about the phone call, about anything. And all this scam will be exposed. And have fun. Just have fun. <clears throat> All right. We have a person, his name is Islam Dawa. How are you, Islam Dawa? Are you a okay, my friend? Islam Dawa, you should ask, uh, you, should, you should be thankful for Donald Trump. He is protecting your Kaaba. If not Donald Trump, the Kaaba will be destroyed by the Iranian Shia. The Iranian Shia, everybody knows, they want to they wanna move the Kaaba to be in their country. They want all the Shia to visit the graves of the sons of Muhammad, not the, the Kaaba. If not a Trump, your Kaaba is, is flying now. You see, the, the Quran speaks about the chapter of the elephant, where Allah he sent a bunch of uh, birds to attack the elephant by rocks true story true story brother but yet the saudi they are not buying the birds of allah they are buying buying the airplanes of usa and they are asking more and more soldiers to be sent to saudi arabia to the point now we have almost 12000 i think to protect your kaaba my friend where is your allah hmm no, obviously, your Allah is not there. The, the real Allah is uh, this guy. If not him, there's no Kaaba. The Kaaba will fly. The Shia, they want to destroy it. Even ISIS, they want to destroy it. Do you know, guys, that ISIS, they want to destroy the Kaaba too? And the reason they're destroyed, they say this, this has become a pagan practice. And it is. It is a pagan practice. Anyway, our topic is not about Islam right now, but because there is some Muhammadan here, they are saying things, and you know, but they say it makes a lot of sense. Uh, anyway, my friend, just kiss the black stone and pray to Allah that uh, Donald Trump will lose. Right? Yeah. And it, by the way, all Muslim leaders, they thought that the one who will win this election is Hillary Clinton. That's why all the donation was coming to her, right? Like, let us bribe her before she go to the office. But Allah, He told you false news, fake news. The one, the winner was Trump, right? Anyway, guys, just I uh, wanted to share this with you, and I hope we have a good time together. And. Uh, for those who they are Muslims, they like to join us, you know, about our topic.
uh, you can join us later right and Islam Dawa he don't dare to call me to do Dawa you see all those people who do Dawa they don't dare to call the Christian Prince don't you want to do that Dawa look what will happen if you call me and prove me wrong a lot of those people who they are listening to me believing that what I say is the truth they will not believe me no more why do you want to do Dawa I will tell you why because you don't dare the same as Mimi hijab mute him mute him hang up hang up we, I could not talk because he's a coward he's afraid he's afraid that people not only that they put the computer far away from the microphone so nobody can hear me so fear is the problem because Islam is a stupid cult and whatever you want to say about Trump Trump he said a, a very clear answers about Islam and obviously he understand Islam very well go and see what he said about Islam and you will see that he knew that Islam is a bad cult and this is why they are trying to fight him right anyway may the Lord bless you all and Ante will see you soon again uh, I hope that you guys will stay in good health and good worth and we pray that always the liars will be exposed and the truth will set you free and I pray that if, it, if Trump he will be good to America let him stay if he is not I pray he will not go and win however I don't see someone better than him to take the position between the two parties we have two parties one of them is went so mad and so crazy and obviously they are taking too much drugs and they cannot be trusted for anything and we tried them for a long time they always take the wrong direction the wrong side always they vote yes when it should be no and they vote no when it should be yes welcome to America so thank you mr. Trump for all what you do and I hope you will win in the coming election for sure I think you will win by the help of the Democrat for sure not by my help um, I have one vote but they can give you millions of votes by their stupidity garbage in garbage out take care my friend thank you